welcome back my dear friends on my youtube channel uh, today's discussion topic is heterogeneous chemical reaction in dw scene so actually this is the uh, last tutorial uh, related to the chemical reaction engineering subject uh, we already have learned how to simulate uh, plug flow reactor continuous stereotank reactor conversion reactor equilibrium reactor so this one is the uh, last example uh, how to solve heterogeneous catalytic reaction in dw sim so the objective of today's tutorial is how you can define kinetics of a heterogeneous reaction and finally how to simulate heterogeneous catalytic reaction in dw sim so let's go to learn these two aspects by solving this problem uh, the problem is actually the production of dimethyl ether and the chemical reaction is given here where the dimeth uh, uh, methanol is dehydrated and convert into dimethyl ether with uh, evolution of water in gaseous phase uh, dimethyl ether is a biofuel and which is uh, obtained from dehydration of methanol in the presence of uh, catalysts such as gamma alumina so uh, the feed that is consisted of methanol enters into a plug flow reactor uh, at 100 kg per hour flow rate 25 bar pressure and 300 degree c temperature and the reaction happens in adiabatic mode and the uh, the reaction phase is gas phase and we are assuming that there is no pressure drop inside the reactor so we have to find the conversion of the reaction in the in the given condition for this reaction and we have to find out the dimethyl ether mass flow rate in the product uh, stream there is additional information is giving given uh, regarding the reactor volume so the reactor volume is 8 cubic meter with 1 meter reactor length catalyst that i already uh, told you is gamma alumina and uh, its loading is 0 0.6 kg per cubic meter and the catalyst particle diameter is 3 millimeter with catalyst void fraction of 0 0.3 so this is this information is given for a reactor and catalyst but to solve this problem we must uh, have uh, information related to the reaction kinetics so i took this data from a research paper and uh, uh, this reaction kinetics actually uh, have been uh, calculated in the presence of gamma alumina and the rate of reaction uh, that is equal to the small r dehydration rate of reaction is equal to the small k into this uh, small p this p is the partial pressure of methanol and similarly here small p is the partial pressure of dimethyl ether and partial pressure of water small k is the representation of dehydration rate constant and uh, the units are given here k mol per kg catalyst per second per pascal and the capital k is the dehydration uh, uh, equilibrium constant dehydration reaction equilibrium constant and small k and capital k they are defined uh, in terms of uh, a fun temperature dependence function with these uh, uh, equations so in order to define the reaction kinetics in dw seam we must have to simplify the rate expression into numerator and denominator form and i simply uh, do some mathematics and convert this expression into the simple uh, uh, simple form where this green expression is numerator and this blue expression is denominator in next step what we are going to do we are going to introduce the value of this small k and capital k from these two equation so 
then this equation will equal to like this. So the, this green expression that is numerator when we insert the value of small k and capital K then this uh, green equation becomes like this and this is the equation that we are going to plug in in DWSIM. For denominator uh, this these two value can be written as like this. Here I want to tell one more thing in DWSIM you cannot write the uh, reactant and product by name but you have to write uh, by this uh, simple expression R, R capital R stands for reactants and the number one is for first reactant that is the methanol if there is another one then the R2 R3 R4 so it depends on number of reactants which are involved in your reaction and similarly P is the uh, 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 for the representation of uh, products so dimethyl ether is the first product and water is the second product so the p1 is uh, uh, for dimethyl ether p2 is for water so now we are ready to move uh, to dw sim to solve this problem so the first thing is we have to create steady state simulation press next and then define all the components which are going to uh, take part in chemical reaction so the first one is methanol and second one is dimethyl ether and the third one is water so methanol dimethyl ether and water has been selected just go to the next button from here the most suitable is pink rubinson is the property package or thermodynamic package add it into the main window press next and from uh, units just uh, choose c5 and then finish okay now we are ready to build our flow sheet for that just take one material stream and drop it into the main canvas click on it and change its name feed and uh, in uh, the input data uh, window go to the stream conditions and uh, change the flash spec to temperature and pressure and uh, introduce the feed uh, condition the temperature was, uh, let me check, the temperature is 300 degree C, pressure is 25 bar and methanol flow rate is 100 kg per hour. So the 300 kg and uh, pressure is 25 bar and flow rate is 100 kg per hour. And now just go to the compound amounts and check the basis. It should be mole fraction that is already selected. Methanol because it's pure methanol just press 1 and for rest uh, enter 0 then accept changes. Okay now the feed stream is fully specified. The next step is we have to introduce reaction. For that just go to this setting tab. Click on it and this window will uh, appear from here just uh, uh, click on reactions and then from reactions go to this chemical reaction window and click on add reaction button and from here we have four options conversion equilibrium kinetic and heterogeneous catalytic so we are going to do heterogeneous catalytic reaction calculation click on it and this window will appear okay so uh, methanol dimethyl ether and water all of them are participating in chemical reaction we know that and methanol is the base component and if we know the uh, chemical reaction 
So the two mole of methanol produce one mole of dimethyl ether and one mole of water. So just go back and uh, put the stoichiometric coefficient for methanol minus two for dimethyl ether one and for water one negative value for reactants and positive value for products and you can see the stoichiometry is okay and reaction is okay okay next step is we have to define heterogeneous kinetic reaction parameter so the bases here are phagocities but if you remember the kinetics data is given in the form of partial pressures so we are going to select here partial pressure and the reaction is happening in uh, vapor phase i am not going to change the temperature and that seems okay so now we have to define here numerator and denominator terms for that i am going to copy this expression actually uh, from here until here just copy and uh, paste here and similarly for denominator uh, i will have to copy from here until here control c okay the amount units are okay pascal but the velocity units we have to define them uh, kg mole per kg per second so but to be assured here you can see kg mole per kg per second the the units and uh, uh, the amounts units because uh, they are given in terms of uh, partial pressure so the pascal is the unit for them okay so uh, the uh, reaction is defined completely after that just uh, cross this window and now go to the reactors and select plug flow reactor and drag it here click on it and connect feed as a feed and uh, generate an outlet stream and energy stream okay so here i'm just uh, going to disable the solver so i don't want to uh, uh, slow down my computer here so first i will completely specify the uh, react reactor conditions then i will run the simulation okay so click on the reactor go to the input uh, parameter feed uh, so the reaction set is already selected default set so we did not actually give the name to the reactor uh, reaction so it is uh, default set calculation mode adiabatic so actually we have to do calculation in adiabatic mode outlet temperature it we should not we cannot change it because it's adiabatic mode and reactor volume okay so this information is also given reactor volume is 8 cubic meter with reactor length 1 meter so this is uh, 8 cubic meter with one meter length catalyst loading is 0 0.6 catalyst particle diameter is 3 millimeter and catalyst void fraction is 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.6 or 0 0.3 let me check so it's 0 0.3 so let's change it 0 0.3 well so now all the parameters are fully defined now it's time to run the simulation for that just press f5 or press the solve flow sheet button and now the flow sheet is being uh, calculated after few seconds or few minutes we will have the final solution for this problem so just wait for a bit well now the simulation has been converged so let's see uh, the results so just click on this reaction uh, reactor uh, icon and then go to the results from results go to the conversion so 
on the given condition the uh, reaction conversion is 33.38 percent and uh, the second thing that was asked we have to find out the mass flow rate of uh, dimethyl ether in the uh, in the product stream for that just click on material stream 2 and after that go to the results and from results go to the bases and change bases from mole fraction to uh, mass flows and here you can have the mass flow of dimethyl ether that is 23.99 kg per hour well uh, another uh, uh, cool thing that you can do here you can have a, a concentration profile inside the reactor for that just right click on this uh, small window and show uh, click on this show in another window and here you have a, a very nice uh, graphics related to the uh, concentration of reactant, product, temperature and pressure. So you can see along the length of uh, reactor pressure is decreasing. So this is uh, the pressure drop inside the reactor and the, the, here is the uh, production of water and uh, this red line is the production of dimethyl ether and this green line is the consumption of methanol inside the reactor along the length of a reactor so uh, that's all for today's uh, discussion and lecture and uh, in upcoming videos we are going to solve these five examples that we solved in dw sim now we will do the same examples in aspen Hises, and then you will have uh, uh, a very good comparison between these two softwares ultimately aspen Hises is uh, fully developed software uh, where you will not face much problems like in dw sim because in dw sim sometimes software just crash and sometimes it gives very random errors that doesn't make any sense so there are a lot of bugs and uh, loopholes in this software but still it's a good uh, tool to practice to learn so i hope you like this video and uh, if you like this video and if you like my content please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like it and share it with your friends so uh, up till next videos bye bye